Maybe. <laughs> uh, anything surprise you about dealing with the boxing side of things and negotiations for this fight that um, you didn't expect? Yeah, well, much easier than I expected. I came from boxing. I remember how bad it is. And, uh, you know, in this negotiation, it just showed me what an absolute asshole Bob Arum is, which I already knew anyway. So how that guy couldn't get that fight done with Pacquiao, with the guys that I dealt with for this deal, it was it was one of the easiest deals I've ever done. Are skins a little too thin in the boxing world? Is what? Are skins a little too thin in the boxing world? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yes. Egos are a little too big in the boxing world. That's what I would say. They Not skins too thin. Egos are too big. Yesterday they faced off, and you jumped in there the whole time of that fight. What happened? Well, it's just listen. Everybody's a little shaky. It was our first, our first one, and we don't want anybody popping off and screwing this thing up. Plus, it's the way it's supposed to be. You can't let two guys who are supposed to fight each other get in there and and, and uh, stand face to face while firing insults at each other. If one of them touches each other and, and things go bad, it's just not worth it. How much compared to other events you've done in the UFC, just with the short notice and the magnitude? UFC, boxing, as a fan, anything I've ever been to, nothing has ever compared to this. It's uh, we, had a, we had like 600 media members yesterday in LA, um, sold out, packed. This place here, I mean, it's just, it's incredible. And everywhere we go, it's going to be great. Why this venue as opposed to some other venues here? Well, we were, again, short notice. We were looking for venues. One of the places is, is being renovated. And it just, it's hard to get a venue. We're lucky to be here right now. We're lucky to be here. You kind of have a sixth sense when it comes to separating these guys. Like, you know, when it gets to a certain pitch, it's time to step in. Yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. The thing is all about disrespect. If somebody gets touched, they feel they have to touch the other guy. And when two people start touching each other and want to fight, it's never a good thing. Hey, is this you mentioned this, you mentioned this was going to be a shit show on Saturday. Yeah. Is this a shit show? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a shit show. I mean, if you look at yesterday's event, um, it's just not what people who are fans of the UFC are, are used to. There's two people. Two people that people want to hear from. It's Connor and it's Floyd, and that's it. Did you see Sports Center? Did you guys look over that entire show yesterday? Did we? I love. Well, I've been on a plane for you know. I've been flying, so no, I, I haven't watched. But I've seen a lot of things on social media. What, what is it? What is it about boxing? What is it? It's the entity that is that, that we put together to do this fight. Okay. Yeah. Is this surreal coming from a boxing background, being a fan growing up? You put on the biggest fights in the MMA world. Now you're kind of putting on the biggest fight in the boxing world. Is that yeah. surreal feeling? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, you know everything in my life has been pretty surreal. Uh, and, and, and this fight here is no different. You know, people were asking me, is this the biggest, you know, obviously the biggest event that I've ever done. It's the biggest event I've ever been to as a fan or anything. This, this, this is the biggest event, and it will be the biggest event ever done in combat sports history when it's said Would you done. agree this is the biggest fight that could possibly put together right now out of any fighter in the world? Is this the biggest fight that could physically be put together? 100%. Absolutely. What, what do you think Connor's saying that he beats Canelo? That Connor said he could beat Canelo. Listen, when you're a fighter, you better believe that you can beat everybody else. Well, I can beat Floyd, but I don't know about Canelo. 